Mm, yeah, uh, back to the show. Uh, musically. Her name is Katrina Van Humbeck. How can you resist a name like that? I love that name. I know my name Bergen is just it's too. Yeah, easy. exactly. <laughs> and she's a, a singer and a music teacher, actually. Anyway, she has, a, uh, has an album out. been doing a few concerts here and there. There's one tonight. Uh, it's called Sam's Place at 159 Henderson Highway. And the uh, put out a CD a couple of months ago. It's called Blue and Beyond. Yes, what they say. It takes a village to make an album. And it? it does. And I ha yeah. I've been surrounded by amazing musicians who are a part of it. Um, I kind of went for it. I had a, a beautiful string quartet involved with uh, some amazing musicians, Natalie Dawn, Cello, I had uh, John Selleck on viola, um, a number of, uh, I, I had Jonathan Alexiak was my, one of my producers and my arranger, um, and on piano as well. I had uh, Sean Burke on bass, Patrick Barrios on drums, and thrilled to have uh, Dr. Richard Gillis, the head of the brass orchestra, on trumpet for me there as wow. well. So I had a, a really great show, and it was exciting as a launch for me. Yeah. Now, how does... Uh who looks after the finances for this? Who looks after the finances? That's a, well, fortunately, cheap. well, and my <laughs> husband is, um, you know how they say artsy people tend to get attracted to yeah. uh, m people who are more mindful of right. finances. So my husband is an investor, and thankfully he kind of keeps me on track. Yay! <laughs> nice. So he'll say, if you want a 30-piece orchestra, he'll say, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I thought to myself... When I perform around Winnipeg, I generally uh, wouldn't go beyond having a quartet, you know, myself with a rhythm section. Right. But for that particular uh, event, I thought, when am I going to have a string quartet? And I thought, ah. And I spoke to Jonathan and I said, you know, I don't know. I don't want to really, uh, I don't want to seem like I'm a diva on this one. And right. he said, ah, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Put the diva hat on and just well, sure. wear it like a boss. So yeah, there exactly. you go. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so how did you how did you get your love of music? When did this start? I I will say I had a eureka moment in grade eight, and I you know sometimes you have those epiphany moments. Yeah. And just at that time, I'd heard a rehearsal uh, going on for the a musical of Brigadoon, and right then and there, I'm like, oh my goodness, I love this. I need to do this. I listened to it, and and then grade nine and through high school, I was uh, doing choral work and in the musicals, and I just had a blast with it and I went on to study music and theater at the U of W. I have a degree in theater performance with music and a Bachelor of Education from the U of M in music and theater as well. And so I just, a, a lot of choral work, a lot of solo work through church as well and uh, musical theater and I just, and as an educator for 20 plus years teaching vocal jazz and choirs, I just grew to really love jazz as well. I really got turned on to jazz and mm -hmm. and so when I thought about a type of medium that I would love to sing in, jazz became so obvious to me. Mm -hmm. Who do you admire as the musicians? Oh wow. Singers? I just I, I admire a lot of local mu musical talent around our city. Um, Helen White has been a real um, mentor for me. Um, I, I really enjoy uh, listening to a lot of the jazz greats like Ella Fitzgerald, of course, Lena Horne. Um, and, yeah, and I even really enjoy some local talent, even loving to listen to uh, those guys. You know, I love lots of acapella groups. I've got a real uh, fascination with some of the, the Latin-style, Spanish-style singers like Andre Buccelli and Il Divo and, and uh, some of my mentors of my past. Of course, I, I slip back into loving Barbara Streisand and the R&B greats like Whitney Houston, of course, and even Celine Dion's been under my my radar as of late too. Thinking, wow, she's really got some chops, and <laughs> love listening to her too. Wow. You know, so yeah, interesting. There's a lot of local talent. In yeah, Winnipeg. absolutely, it really is. absolutely. Yeah. And of course, I can't. Um, I mean, when I get m mentored even by some people who are not necessarily singers as their primary, but I mean, some I just love, I love to listen to even, I'd love to listen to Jonathan Alexiak and his piano work, his just beautiful work, and... Oh goodness! And I just even get excited by listening to Wally Larson and and um, oh, sure. you know, yeah, just yeah. some of these amazing artists, yeah. just yeah. taking them all in. Well, is it, 
what kind of things surprised you on, on making the album? Oh, wow. You know, I didn't... Well, for one, I thought I could... I thought, okay, I'll have three recording sessions and I'll go in and get it done, you yeah. know, because I, I had a plan. Or within five sessions, I thought, you know, I'll do all my vocal work. And I didn't realize that, for one, all the... The recording takes place in layers, and every musician that comes in, they're in their own separate cubicle, and right. they're all recording individually. And then I, I remember telling my my sound technician, Jordan Jack, who I have to throw in a plug for him because he's amazing through his... Um, his tailored recording studio, amazing work, great ear. Um, I said to him, uh, "I just want to run this track twice, and we'll be done with it." And he said, "No, no, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, you know, we'll perform it through four times, and we'll do different sections, and we yeah. want you to sound the best that you've ever sounded before." And I thought, "Really?" And so for me, I thought, "Okay." So, and then once we started doing it, I realized he had a point there. Yeah. It's not just from beginning to end. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it's let's do this section four times, and then do that section. So that was surprising to me. Also, just. Um, um, just just the level of of you know how much is involved like again with the different artists going um each individually recording and then the way it all layered in together and it was just a fascinating experience and i just loved it yeah so it took longer than you thought i took longer yeah. than i thought I'll bet. it was again more labor intensive and sometimes i wanted to keep going and my um sound engineer would say no you're done i said no i, I still have another half an hour on the clock he said no vocally you're done nice you're you're tired now so yeah, we're gonna right. they know we're gonna call it a day and i yeah. said oh but i want to keep going and so he said no nah, we'll we'll try it again another day because right. he said being ex as experienced as he is he thought i'm not yeah. gonna have you lay down a track and realize it's not yeah it's yeah. not a good track, yeah. you know. Do you enjoy uh, recording more or singing live? Oh, wow. I just love singing any chance I can get, mm. to be honest with you. I, the recording process was amazing. I, I just loved, another thing I really loved about it is meeting musicians in all these different avenues. Um, I was just so delighted to get to meet different people and say, wow, I've made these connections. Yeah. Now, in answer to your question, Tom, about... Um, I I love recording and I clearly don't get to record as often because I just have sure. the one album right now. Sure. But I just love to sing every chance I can get and to perform every chance I can get. Yeah. And uh, Katrina will perform tonight at Sam's Place, 159 Henderson Highway. This CD, which came out earlier this year, is called Blue and Beyond. So there you go, Katrina Van Humbeck. Is that a great name or what? It is, but it's funny when I sing. Yeah. People say it makes them blue and beyond. I don't know why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you ever you ever sang, Kevin, and played yourself back and heard it back? You know, in the car sometimes you're yeah. just playing, and yeah. when it's up loud, you think, yeah, I can sing this. I sound pretty good. Yeah. Then you turn it down, and it's like I'm terrible. Yeah, exactly. How how shattering is that? <laughs> Anyway, um, good to hear Katrina uh, show tonight at Sam's Place. Coming up uh, after the break here, we got some um, stuff to give away. Stuff. Stuff. Uh, it's a truck and 